Okay, let's solve this nice little math word problem here. And of course, the first step in solving any problem in mathematics is to read the problem. So let's go ahead and do that right now. It says five divided by two times a number is one fourth. What is the number? Okay, so I really don't wanna give you too many hints here because I wanna give you a full opportunity to solve this problem all on your own. If you know how to solve this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm actually gonna show you the correct answer in just one moment. And of course, I'm gonna walk through the solution to this problem step by step. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades. It really is my true calling to help as many people as I possibly can learn mathematics. I'm gonna tell you right now, all of you could be successful in math. And I'm especially speaking to those of you that have a tough time with mathematics. Please do not give up. The main thing you need to be successful in math is great math instruction. So whoever you're learning math from or whatever you're learning math from, you have to understand it, right? There's nothing more frustrating than sitting in a classroom and being, and being like totally confused for an hour, right? You're never gonna learn math in that way. So the way I like to teach math, because math is a technical subject, is I like to try to explain things in easy to understand ways so all students can get what's going on without watering down what you need to know. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that you're getting ready for that has math on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different uh, math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also gonna leave links to my uh, math notes in the description as well. Most students take average notes. Some students don't take any notes, but you have to take great notes if you expect it to be awesome in mathematics. So improve your notes, but in the meantime, you can use mine if you like. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. Again, it is five divided by two times a number is one fourth. What is this number? Well, let's go ahead and show you the number right now. Okay, the number is 10. So that is the answer. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, hopefully you got this right. And if you did get this right, let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+, plus, A 100% and multiple stars so you can share with your friends and family how awesome you were in math today. Okay, so nice job. But if you didn't get this right, do not despair because we're gonna walk through the steps uh, one by one and let's go ahead and get started right now. Okay, so the first step, actually the first two or three steps when solving any math word problem, okay, well actually I would say the first three steps. Step one is to read the problem, that's you know quite obvious, but step two is to reread the problem, okay? And step three is to really read the problem thoroughly and make sure you understand the question. So never just read, a word problem, a math word problem once and then start doing stuff, okay? That's not what you wanna do. You wanna calm your brain down, read the problem, take in some information, read it again, get some more information, and then the next time you read or the last time you read the problem, focus on what the question is, all right? So again, we got five divided by two times a number is one fourth, what is the number? So we're looking for this specific number and what we're gonna to have to do here is use some algebra, okay? So if you recognized um, this phrase right here, a number, two times a number, well, algebra is the math that uses these things called variables that represents a number. So we just have a phrase here, a number, two times some number. Well, we don't know what that number is, so we can represent this number with a variable you could use X, you could use Y, you could use Z. In this case, I'm gonna use N. So let's go ahead and start with, um, start the solution process here by establishing a variable. So let's just let N uh, represent this number. So anytime you are um, solving an algebra word problem, you need to be very specific on what your variables stand uh, or represent. Okay, so that's the first thing after you kind of model 
out this situation. You think about it and say, okay, I'm going to let this particular variable represent something. Be very specific and, you know, define that. So we're going to let n equals this number. And over here, we can see in this phrase right here, it's 5 divided by 2 times a number. So if n is the number, 2n would be 2 times the number, right? So that's what we'll, we'll let uh, 2n equals 2 times the number. Okay, so because we have some variables, we want to solve for these variables. So how can we solve for a variable? Uh, well, you, we need to construct an equation. So how do we uh, get an equation? Well, we have to use the rest information in the problem. And what we really need to do here is interpret this phrase, this verbal phrase, and translate it into an algebraic phrase or equation. So we're just going to do this one word at a time. So here is 5 divided by what? Okay, well, let's just start off by 5 divided by. So here is 5, and we can use this fraction bar divided by. You can go like this, 5 divided by as well. Uh, it could be the same thing, but it's better to... Um, use this format right here. So this is 5 divided by what? Well, it's 5 divided by 2 times a number. So remember, we just kind of established this uh, expression right here, 2n, to represent 2 times a number. So let's go ahead and write that next here. So that's going to be 5 divided by 2 times a number. Okay, so we're just taking this one word at a time. So 5 divided by 2 times a number is. Now, anytime you see the word is in a verbal sentence and you want to translate it into algebra, it's always, always, always the equal sign. Okay. So is or is equal to what? One fourth. All right. So five divided by two times number is equal to one fourth. So now we have our nice little equation. So this is kind of the first two steps. So the first step, um, obviously, after we read the prompt, is to define some variables, and then we need to construct an equation. Now, the last remaining step is to be able to solve this equation. So let's go ahead and take a look at this right now. So how do we solve for n? Well, the easiest way to solve for n is to recognize that this is actually what we call a proportion. Okay, a proportion is two equal fractions. So for example, if I have the fraction one half, and I'm thinking to myself, what's another fraction that's equal to one half, right? Well, how about like say three over six? Uh, three over six and one half are mathematically equivalent. Okay, so these are two equal fractions. This is what we call a proportion. So one thing that is true about all proportions is that the cross product is equal. In other words, if we cross multiply one times six, that's gonna be six. That's gonna be equal if we cross multiply here, two times three is six. This is what we call the cross product. So the cross product is true um, when you have a proportion, i.e. two equal fractions. So you can see here, I have one fraction equaling to another fraction. So let's just go ahead and use the cross product to solve for n. So it's going to be five times four, of course, is 20. And then one times two n is going to be two n. All right. So that's just, uh, you know, the first step to clear this fraction. But by the way, too, this is not the only way you can um, solve for n. There's another uh, other techniques as well. But this is the easiest way to think about this problem. All right. So we have two times n is equal to 20. So how do we solve for n? Easy. Just simply divide both sides of the equation by two. So 20 divided by two is 10. So n is equal to 10. Now let's go ahead and check our answer here real quick. So if n is equal to 10, that means if I plug this, uh, replace this n with a 10, let's go ahead and do that right now. That's going to be 5 over 2 times 10. So that's going to give me the uh, fraction 5 over 20. Okay. Now, can I reduce 5 over 20? Well, let's see here. 5 goes into 5 one time, and uh, 5 goes into 20 uh, four times, right? So this fraction right here, which will be 5 over 20, is actually equivalent to, if we simplify, 1 fourth. And you can see 1 fourth is, in fact, equal to 1 fourth. So the left is equal to the right. So you, if you have time on quizzes, tests, exams, and whatnot, always, always check your final answer. In this case, it's not that difficult to do so. But that is how you do this problem. So hopefully you're able to figure this out, but uh, here's the deal. Even if you didn't get this problem correct the first time, now by watching this, hopefully you understand this, but here is the main idea. 
All right, you're not going to actually get better at math by watching me do math prompts, okay? So you're like, oh, you know, I watched, you know, I watch this video, I understand what's going on, I therefore have improved in mathematics. That's not the case, all right? That's a very um, kind of common misunderstanding. It would be very much like, uh, let's say you want to get better at basketball. Would you watch TV all day and watch the NBA, watch, you know, a lot of uh, famous basketball players, you know, um, you know, play basketball on TV? Would that actually make you better in math? No, no. I'm sorry, not in math, but in basketball. No, it's not going to, right? You have to actually go and uh, practice. So math is no difference. It is a skill. And another thing is this. Let's say, let's use basketball again. Uh, let's say, hey, you're going to get great. You want to get great at basketball. Would you just shoot one basketball uh, and you made one basket, right? You got it, you know, you got it in the first time, and you're like, yay! Therefore, I am great at basketball. Every single time I shoot the ball, I will make it into uh, the basket. No, that's not the case either. You need to challenge yourself. What's the bottom line? The bottom line is you need to do prompts. You need to uh, practice a wide variety of prompts uh, to get great at math. So hopefully, uh, you know, you're motivated to do more of these type of word prompts. Now, word problems are at all various uh, different levels of mathematics. So if you need help in uh, specifically with math word prompts, here's a couple of suggestions you can do. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel about, uh, uh, you know, on various word problems, various different levels of mathematics. But I would suggest going to any one of my uh, particular math courses, whether it be pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, pre-calculus, and within those various sections and within those various courses, you'll find an assortment of fun and challenging word problems that you can practice. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.